what is up guys welcome back to another video in today's video i'm gonna bring you guys the ultimate fps boost guide for the brand new call of duty modern warfare 2 especially if you have a low-end computer or a laptop by low-end computers i don't mean that the ultra low-end systems like if you're having like 4 gb of ram and some intel hd graphics if that's the case this game is simply not gonna work and it's not worth your time even try out to get a playable experience in my opinion but if you are having a system with basically the minimal requirements of this game or either somewhat little bit below the minimum requirements this video will definitely help you to boost some fps especially in multiplayer to get a really good playable experience all right guys so without further ado let's get right into the video Alright guys, as the minimum requirements of this game, you need to have an i3-60-100 CPU which is a 2-core 4-thread CPU or either you have to have an i5-2500K which is a 4-core 4-thread CPU. So if you have a CPU with at least 4 cores, you are pretty much good to go. And also you need to have 8 gigs of RAM alongside an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960 or an AMD RX 470. There is no specific mention about the amount of VRAM that you need to have, so I guess 2GB VRAM is good enough. And also you need to have a Windows 10 or windows 11 latest update and also the direct x12 support so my testing specs are basically the same as usual i do have a i5 3570 which is a 4 core 4 thread cpu alongside the ddr3 8 gigs of ram and nvidia geforce gtx 960 2 gb version and i also have to mention there are some stability issues going on with the latest nvidia drivers so the call of duty recommend you to use either drivers 516.59 or the 522.25 Alright guys, at first I'm running this game on 1080p native resolution, on low settings, pretty much everything disabled, and I'll be getting around 40 to 45 FPS on regular multiplayer maps. Basically the amount of FPS that you're getting is dependent on the map. Some maps you're getting around 50, 55, in some maps with a lot more actions going on, you're getting around 35 to 45 FPS. The performance and the FPS that are getting is actually not that bad, it's pretty close to the what we have in the open beta as well. As you guys can see, my GPUs are about the 95% which is as intended and also my CPU usage is around 70 to 85% which is actually not that bad especially when I'm recording the gameplay there is actually no lag or FPS drops which is really good but especially in a game like Call of Duty with fast paced gameplay and a lot of action going on you need to have at least 65-70 FPS to get a playable experience in my opinion so in order to get higher frame rate and much more smooth experience we need to use that upscaling technology that the game provide that will help you to to render the game on a low resolution and bump it up to 1080p and ultimately we should be able to get much more fps while playing on the same resolution and i also have to mention i only have a 2 gigs of vram in this graphics card because so i'm not going to try the medium and the higher setting which is basically unplayable you are getting at least around 20 fps on medium settings which is literally unplayable so i highly recommend you guys to try on the low settings and keep everything disabled and also another important step is to if you have the game on steam make sure you are running the steam on the steam light mode that will help you to reduce your ram and the cpu usage at the same time and help you to get much more smoother experience overall if you don't know anything regarding the steam light version i previously made a quick tutorial how to enable it. it's a pretty simple tutorial go ahead and check it out it will definitely help you a lot all right now let's talk about the upscaling method that we have fortunately this game support nvidia dlss amd fsr nvidia image scaling as well as intel xcss but by the time of recording this video intel xcss is not going to work on your graphics card and it's run horribly on the campaign when i'm checking out on the last video so probably they'll remove it from the game maybe they will add it in the future and also unfortunately nvidia dlss is also not going to support our graphics card so basically we have two options those are nvidia image scaling and the amd fsr all right now i'm going to do a quick comparison of both of these options and also the default option and see how much fps boost that we can get and also i'm doing this test on a private match which means i'm getting lot more fps compared to a regular multiplayer game and as you guys can see at the native 1080p resolution we are getting around 55 fps and on nvidia image scaling set to balance quality we are getting around 75 fps which is really good and also the amd fsr set to balance quality we are getting around 80 85 fps which is a lot higher but comparatively the image quality is a lot better on the nvidia image scaling option so this could basically depend on your graphics card so for an example if you have an amd graphics card the amd fsr option is probably going to be 
be much better for you but in my case the nvidia image scaling does come with a sharpness filter so the image is a lot more sharper and the visibility is a lot better all right now i'm in a regular multiplayer match and i'm set this to 1080p low settings with nvidia image scaling set to balance and i'll be getting around 60 65 fps which is a lot better than having 35 to 40 fps previously so overall it's going to be a much more smooth experience for you and also i'm getting this fps while recording the gameplay as well so if you stop recording you'll be getting at least 5 to 10 fps boost and also if you feel like you need more fps you can definitely go below 1080p for around 720p but the overall image quality and the visibility is not going to be that good so finally i suggest you guys to set the setting on 1080p low settings and the nvidia image scaling enable and set it to balance or even performance if you want that way you will get a much more higher fps and smooth experience compared to the previous native 1080p and also the warzone 2.0 is going to come on the next week i know many of you guys are more hype about the warzone than the regular multiplayer of this game so by the time it comes out i will do a more updated guide especially for the warzone because the fps limits are not going to be the same on those large scale maps so finally i hope this video helpful for you guys to some way to higher your fps in game and get a much more smooth experience if this video helpful please make sure to drop a like on the video and also hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more guide like this i'll see you guys in my next video stay safe